We're live. Hey everybody, Josh Brown here, managing editor with Zionsville Magazine. We're live today hanging out at Kim's Cookie Cafe. Kim, thanks Hi. for uh, letting us stop by. My pleasure. My pleasure. So Kim Step owner here, has uh, let me just pop in today. They're kind of getting ready for the day, getting cookies made and everything set out. As uh, I'm sure it'll be a busy Friday for you I here. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> so Kim, kind of... For people who don't know and maybe missed the grand opening, um, you guys had a grand opening a couple weeks before Thanksgiving, correct? Right? Correct. Um, November 10th, so not even quite a month now that you've been no, open. we're still newbies. Yeah, but what's it been like for you? Kind of take us to the story. How, how did you start Kim's Cookie Cafe? Well, um, my background is in child care, and um, they say you go through three careers in your lifetime, and my first one was as a realtor, my second one was as a mother. But when I found myself as a single mother, I started a daycare business, and that lasted for 30 years. And uh, when that stopped, honestly, I got a little depressed because I missed all the little people. But I'd always wanted to learn how to do these uh, royal icing decorated cookies. And um, so I went on YouTube and worked and worked on a recipe and practiced and took some to the church bazaar. And that was four years ago, and people started asking for my name. And, and it just went from one thing to the next to where I had a web page and, and I just couldn't do it from home anymore. And uh, so um, I just decided to do something about all things cookie. And uh, so we have edible cookie dough by the dip. We have decorated cookies and then we have baked cookies for any occasion. Awesome. It's got to be rewarding for you too because we were talking, I mean, you're self-taught baker. I mean, that, right. that's really cool that you've kind of got your own shop now. Well, it started out in 4-H, you know, like a lot of kids do. Yeah. And uh, so I'm a little picky. The kids in the back will take one for the team any day. And we have what's called the ugly cookie box. And it's a box <laughs> where they're full of cookies that I just won't sell. There's not a thing wrong with them. But, you know, with the 4-H background, the front and the back don't match. Or they're not perfectly circular. Then they go in the ugly cookie box. And I'll have kids come in on their day off and check for the ugly cookie box. See if there's... Anything in there Some that they can left swipe. For them. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Well, let's talk a little bit about the type of cookies that you offer because some of them are pretty unique. You were showing me some earlier, the, mm -hmm. I believe the Kevin Bacon cookie. The right Kevin now. Bacon. So let's, let's give people some insight into some of the fun cookie creations you come up with. Well, we have, as I said, the, the, a girlfriend from high school, she has the biggest crush on Kevin Bacon. <laughs> so I told her I would, as a joke, I would make a bacon cookie for her. And as it's turned out, it's turned out to be our best, one of our best sellers. It's a maple brown sugar uh, cookie with pecans with a brown sugar maple glaze. And um, on bacon night, when we're making the bacon, the whole town, this whole area of town smells really good. Oh, I because bet. Because <laughs> we base the bacon with ma pure maple syrup as, oh, we're, as we're putting it in the oven. And then we also have another favorite, um, peanut butter and jelly. It's a, basically a, a peanut butter thumbprint with a very special not too sweet, not too tart, grape jelly in the center. We have um, one that's called the Wake Me Up Cookie, and it is a chocolate chip cookie, but naturally espresso heightens the flavor of chocolate, Okay. right? So in each batch, there's five shots of espresso. Wow. So it will legitimately wake you up. So if you've when, got that in a coffee, you're oh, good yeah. to go for the day. Well, and then on top goes a you know, chocolate-covered espresso bean. So if you're sensitive to caffeine, you're going to be <laughs> all the way out the door. You'll be It'll jittering be all day. Yeah, absolutely. That's awesome. So some really cool cookie creations here. If, if you haven't been yet, stop by and check them out. Uh, you talked a little bit, uh, too, about, I believe, the cookie dough, the raw bar, right? That's, right. That's pretty unique. That's not something you see probably in a lot of, of cookie shops. Kind of no. take us through what that idea came about. Well, with. um... You know, dough in New York opened up, and I've always said that we should, people should sell this. Um, my kids were always, you know, in high school, stealing my credit card and going <laughs> to Marsh. Sure. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, so I just decided that since I was going to be making cookies anyway, I may as well do them in raw form. Yeah. How have people liked that? What's kind of been the response for that? Because, I mean, everyone loves, everyone loves cookie me. dough, right? Well. Some people get a little bit, ooh, <laughs> right. but they love it. I'm sorry. Oh, you're okay. <laughs> I've got this Kim's cold. fighting a little bit of cold. Look, I, I mean, oh everybody has been this week. It's so, We woke up this morning, it was 15 degrees. My family's been fighting it as well. So we're, we're kind of, we're thick into winter now. It feels like we skipped fall. Mm -hmm. um, 
Tell us a little bit, you, you talked some about the grand opening and overall the community response, but you're located right here across the street from the scoop, the ice cream shot, kind of off Main Street. How did, you, <coughs> how did you come upon this location and, and find the spot for Kim's Cookie Cafe? Well, have you ever uh, read the book, The Secret? I have not. No. Well, the philosophy there is if you say it out loud, it'll happen. Okay. So I just started saying it out loud. And someone knew of this place coming open. Yeah. I sound like I've got a frog in my heart. <laughs> That's okay. <coughs> I do. Um, not to mention. So connections helped you find Yeah, this connections. Spot. And um, that's how. Yeah. Awesome. It took me April, May, June, July, August, September, October. Eight months, but we did it. it took eight months. But you got here and you're open now. We did. <laughs> Staying busy. We are definitely staying busy. So obviously the holidays are coming up. We've got Christmas coming up. Are there any um, you know, fun, unique cookies that you guys are working on with the holiday <coughs> season? Excuse me. <laughs> okay. Well, we've got, let's see. Hanukkah cookies. We've got um, all sorts of decorated cookies. We've got a new cookie that's coming out. It's a, it's a iced, royal iced sugar cookie. And you paint it. Oh, fun. Here, let me, um, why don't you go ahead and talk? Might okay. be able to show us, okay. <coughs> ah, I see your see comment, me? Jane. Uh, Jane Crawford commented and said that she had some of your cookies last evening. She loved them. Oh, well, good. Thanks, Jane. <laughs> oh, these, cool. Let's these are little, they've here. got a. Let's see if I can zoom in. Oh, okay. There we go. Perfect. These are, they, they're a sugar cookie with a royal icing. Okay. And then we put a stencil over it. We include a paintbrush, and in the back, there's a little palette of paints. Just put a little water on there, and you paint your own cookie. Awesome, so that'll be fun. Maybe parents looking for something to do the holidays with the kids to bring them in, let them paint Absolutely. some cookies. Well, they can take this home. They can even, yeah, they can take this home. Maybe something fun to do with grandma, put it in the stocking. Yeah. yeah. It's just a twist on the decorated cookie. For those of you, again, who haven't stopped by yet, come check out Kim's Cookie Cafe I right across the street. I promise not to cough on you. <laughs> she will cough. Again, we're all fighting the cold, but we'll get through it this holiday season, this winter. So if you haven't stopped by Kim's Cookie Cafe yet, come down and grab some cookies, uh, maybe for the holiday season. Santa's coming. Absolutely. He'll need some good cookies this year. So. And this, this weekend, we'll have free coffee with every purchase. Oh, perfect. Um, to warm you up as you're waiting in line to see Santa. Or wake you up if you want to get one of those espresso oh, cookies with it. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Kim, thanks for taking some time to Thank chat you. with us today. We appreciate it. Uh, be on the lookout soon for the story, everyone, in Zionsville Magazine. Uh, we appreciate you joining us today on this Friday. Stay warm out there and have a great weekend. See ya.